All right, what is up, you guys? And as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle in the PU versus Gara, which is a long-time friend, really, in this community. Always brings a weird team and uh, always throws me off, and I, I, I just love that about him. Um, so my team is a bit on the niche side too, though I have like two really like two big breakers. But besides that, it's actually it's actually there's what, what do you say? A, a bit of a guessing, a bit of picking. It picks my pick my wonderful mods basically, and uh, I can't speak English at all. Basically, I don't want to be too hard ass because he never does that to me. Um, oh, look at this though! Look at this, Moal, uh, Hakamo, War Turtle, Bolt Town is going to be really cool. Uh, we're gonna start with Legion. I don't believe I'll lose too much by that actually, because I think Bolt Town could be his potential lead, and Legion is actually an assault vest or I mean a choice banded first impression variant, which will absolutely annihilate. Um, his executor. Um, now, there are two things that stands in my way here, and that is just more well overall is really tough and very hard to switch in and out on. Can't have leftovers and can be overall really annoying, so I, I don't know, I'm kind of scared. Uh, I think Boltown is like the only Pokemon I can kind of deal with, with well with a few switch ins, but more well is gonna be a headache. Uh, and then it's all about. <laughs> I love that the animation of running from Yao. <laughs> but yeah, basically, like I have no idea how to cripple Mowal naturally. Let's see. He starts off with Jaw Ponsel, so that's that's the absolute worst scenario for me. Let's see. Intimidate or Share Force. Share Force. So a lot of power here. Um. Yeah, yeah, he got the lead right, that's for sure. Do I take an Iron Head or like basically, the, does it go for a Source Dance? No, play rough directly, which is good. We are defensive, but we don't take that, <laughs> we don't take it at all that well. And uh, it looks to be in range where I can be KO'd. Um, let's go for later spikes, right? Yeah. I think I force him out. He should be faster, however. So it could be a mess up play because basically a sack sand slash no matter what. And that's not pleasant. <sighs> Sheer force. It is such a um, such a weird thing to switch into. That power output from all is actually quite high. It might be frail, but that's Basically, all it is. It might be frail, but really, really annoying Pokemon to be able to try to force your head on and try to, like, basically beat. So right, we get Executor here. Now, Executor is actually slower, and uh, usually this guy carry Harvest. But I think I can pressure it where our Cassis. Because it doesn't have, like, really that good of a move. Sir Jason, at least not that naturally. Um, let's see, Gigarain, gonna soak that up. And I think we're leftovers, so we're gonna be absolutely fine. And uh, the only issue I have here is that my only play is basically Grab Apple. Yeah, it, it's not pretty. Um, I could go for Dragon Pulse, but there's no reason not to. Uh, because I do believe Mowal comes in here naturally. Tap, 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 that's actually far worse. <laughs> right, and grab apple does. Yeah, that's alright. We're thick fat, so I don't know how worried we should be, but he can easily go for rapid spin here. I can just keep going for an apple acid, really. I feel he's going to rapid spin anyway, yeah. I like those spikes, you know. So now we'll be faster, of course. And uh, Appalachia will now put him in range, will be KO'd next time. Maybe, probably not. <laughs> okay. Ooh, here comes the freeze dry. I'm feeling ass off here though, right? Makes sense. 
and a vulnerable play is quite free, I think. Yeah, here comes a freeze fry. It's gonna absolutely sting. Oof. Oh, there we go. Nice. Um, that was wonderful. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see. U turn, U turn, U turn. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> right, switches out. Makes sense. Uh, to oh, I need, I need to wake up. You can't be frozen solid here, buddy. I need you to U turn. I won't accept the fact that you're going to be a setup fodder. Yes. Yes, we're still in this. Whack. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> he's gonna go for a psychic though, right? Come on, Arkansas. Come on, buddy. Call mind. That's that's unfortunate. That's actually real unfortunate. <sighs> right. I think you go for a psychic here, or more likely keeps call mining as he saw what I could do. So I'm actually going to allow him to set up freely because we have the first impression on the Phalanx. And I'm actually gonna just go for um for a layer of spikes here. Sure, it would be nice not to sack play, but at this point I'm, I'm kind of feeling... Yeah, I'm feeling spikes. <laughs> Let me just think about this though. I could curl leech life, but why would I? I'm not a sweeper sand slash. Come on. Like I, I basically wanted to keep coal mining, thinking he's in the clear. Alright, there we go. Hayden's father. <laughs> if anybody knew about that reference, probably the best thing that ever happened to this community. And, um, Hayden was posting um, a photo of that guy, which always is showcased, and call him his daddy. Oh, he switches out! Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? I'm good with that. And I think we now have a lot, like, enough of HP to um, soak another play rough. The thing is, though, I don't know whether or not I'm faster. So, we go for the Earthquake. Let's see. I am faster, which is great. But he does live, which is less great. Here comes the on head. Ooh, hoo. Nice. Alright, we'll see that. And the positive part is that we were faster. Um, no, he doesn't have any floaters, right? No, we're in the clear. Another earthquake should be just about fine. Um, the only thing I think he thought was that I was going to go for... Uh, right, his sacks mobile, that's great. That's going to open up the game a little bit for us. Uh, but the only thing I think is he was thinking I was going to go for was leech life or knockoff. And attack him because basically now I'm forcing um, the attack Pokemon that comes in or potentially Bolt Hound, which could be Sugar Berry and Bulk Up. Um, right, tap tap. Now we're not faster than Mr. Rhyme, that's for sure. I'm actually going for a knockoff play. If he spins, no, if freeze rise is a man. And uh, I get my first Pokemon knocked out too. Tremendous. Um, at least I can bring you in. 
and Stone Edge will be wonderful against a, a lot of these guys. Doesn't have anything to resist that, right? No, it has two Violet Pokemon, which absolutely will make this a lot rougher. But I don't see Hakamo coming in, which is resistant to this, of course. Hmm. An Exeggutor could be a possible switch in. <laughs> right, he stays in. The spike stays, which is going to be awesome for us. He could, however, be a Shell Smash variant of War Turtle, and that's not going to be a great thing to experience. Hmm. I don't want to see Wartle. No, here is the face palm. The thing is here, I already kind of knew his citrus. Gittering is quite, quite easy play. He had Call Mind, right? So let's see. I think Giga Rain is play. And I this is like the best opportunity I have to potentially set up. He's quite offensive, however. Um damn, that actually recovered a whole lot. Oh yeah, Barry doesn't exist in this game. <laughs> Alright, we still can get kind of a setup going on here. We still have Rest and Chesto. So, Barry is not in this game. How about that? He calls mine himself. Unless he has Side Shock, I don't believe he can. Or maybe he could. Because it's still a very, very bulky Pokemon. And without Barrier, I don't know how strong my Stall Power could or will get. Giga Drain. This time. Does a whole lot though. Right? I have to manage another one, I'm unscrewed. The so second Call Mind. And I really hope he keeps going for Giga Drain. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Show me Giga Drain. And no crit. Nice. <laughs> so now he thinks I'm in range, and uh, in another world I would have been. And also in another world I would have had uh, Barrier. Thanks, Game Freak. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean. We get back our HP. I mean, he's clearly gonna go for a full recover. Uh, no, keeps going for Call Mine himself. This is good. This is good. I'd rather see him calling Minding because English is so my first language. Uh, because I wanna get fully set up and maximize my stored power. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let it be. By the way, if this is gonna pan out and be just an absolute failure, it's just gonna be one of those weird sack plays anyway. <laughs> because he has Giga Rain, he has Call Mind. For all sense and purposes, I figure he'd be Psy Shock. Um, which, if he is, I think that shouldn't actually be pushing me to be knocked out. Hmm. By the way, if this guy, if Meowstick doesn't get uh, buried anymore, I wonder if he gets something to boost his defense, because if not, like our defense, because if not, then, you know, what's the point, right? Don't have Sci Shock, don't show me that. Here comes another coal mine. <laughs> because the only issue I have here is that I am actually having a lot of HP on this and not so much special attack. So I know, no matter what I do, that this stored power, while it is now in theory fully powered, it is still quite weak. So let's see what my opponent decides to do. Here's the side shock. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh, it's a two-hit kill. Wonderful. 
So you're forcing my hand. Let's see how how bad is Oh Jesus Christ, like this still power is nowhere near gonna knock him out though. Oh it was even it wasn't even worth it. It wasn't even worth it. <laughs> Ah, oh my god, what a, what a waste. All right, it's... <laughs> we still got this though, right? Um, yeah, what a waste. The question is, like, do I U-turn here? Or really go for the KO? Oh, this is rough though. This is rough. Because U-turn will nowhere near kill him. Right, go Legion. Maximize my poor, poor first impression. Now I really hope it switches out. But I don't want to see this war turtle sweep me. Because <laughs> this is basically what I'm kind of getting into. Because I don't know if U-turn would have been enough. Right, he does decide to switch out, which is good and bad, to Skylo. And this could be carrying... Um... By the way, that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> but he could be carrying Dragon Dance here, and... If I were him, I'd absolutely Dragon Dance. If it goes for close combat, I think I'm in a good spot. Let's see. There is the dragon dance. There is the dragon dance. Our choice scoff, play rough. Only negative part about that is that, as said before, it does kind of allow War Total to come in, but at least we knock this guy out, and that's always pleasant. <sighs> All right. War, total, war, total, war, total. What do I even do against war, total? Like, one shell smash and... Oh, he brings this guy back. I'm game. Did not pop the berry. <laughs> um. The Giga Drain is so annoying. We do this play. It's not a weird one. Basically what I want to do is I want to see him get rain and then I want to force him for a call mine, bringing DNA for free. He has rest. Wait. And his harvest Shesto. We didn't even come close of beating this guy. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna send in Legion. He's gonna call mine anyway. Yeah, there you go. Now he knows about my first impression. So I figure I do the aggressive play here. Hope he's sensing war total. And if he attacks me here, then I think he absolutely wins. And he wins because he's just a master. Yeah! He's a master, alright? Oh my god. We don't manage to live that. <laughs> what a beast. What a beast. He wants me. He wants me so badly to go for that first impression. Of that, I'm sure. So we can get his free setup. Yeah, we have the first impression here then. Um, I mean, of course, we knock him out, but like I said, War Total kind of allows the, for a game or a decisive sweep here. And I don't believe there's anything I can do. That is, his fallings doesn't somehow fall through here. Volt Bitch. I'll say.
I kind of need to go like super aggressive here. Two minutes left. I mean, at this point, we're just going to try to really, really knock each other out somehow. Um, let's see. Play rough. Fick will take this, all right. Yeah. He gets attack decrease on me, which is wonderful. So now we're going to hope for that crit. Because that was pros do. Stone Edge. Mm, no crits. Okay. Here comes the play rough. Knocks us out this time. It's all good. Alright, hang in there, Legion. Bandit first impression! Gonna knock you out, buddy. It's gonna knock you out. Oh, you coward. You coward. <laughs> to Quelly. How much was he even do? Okay, that's not white serve. I'm gonna kill that, guys. <laughs> I hate the timer. I'm feeling the stress too. Like, basically, if you go from Ice Beam, I do believe I'm knocked out. If you go to Harder Pump, I think I'm fine and I basically win. But I don't think we'll see this game to the end, unfortunately. Because of my leftover stall in the timer. Come on, 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 come on. At least one more turn, right? There's Ice Beam. Thick Fat is gonna save me. And, um, yeah, I mean, we won't see a conclusion to this game, but I know we win it. <sighs> this was still a really, really fun game, Ogara. That Executor coming out of nowhere. And while the first impression of the Fallings, yeah, it pretty much decided the game here. Um, I'll give my opponent this. Uh, Gara, you absolutely knocked this out of the park. And, yeah, that Executor was something else. So yeah, a first impression here will of course KO him if that were to be the case. But like I said, we don't get to see this game through. But um, yeah, this was actually really fun. <laughs> so my fun on Gara, as always, really great game, buddy. Definitely really came through here. And uh, honestly, this was awesome. Uh, so everybody watching, I hope you guys enjoy this game. And really, have a great day, everyone. I know, subscribe to me if you don't like to, right? <laughs> Bye.